All right, so I'm back, and we're going to be going over the uh, reviewer response, or viewer responses, not reviewer response, viewer responses of my last rant of the week, which was Combiner Wars. Uh, this will be the last, like I said uh, in the video, this will be the last rant of the week for a couple weeks, because TFCon, <clears throat> I'm so excited. Uh, I've never been to a convention, so TFCon, uh, what, four... Well, it, it, it's next Friday, so it's like six days away, but it's four days for me because in four days is when I get in the car and start driving. 26-hour road trip to get there, and it's going to be so much fun. I can't ex I, I, I'm so excited. I, I mean, yeah, it's a long road trip, but hell, that's going to be fun. All right, so let's get let's get started. Uh, so CN Funny John says, take photos. Well, um, I am terrible. Absolutely terrible terrible at photos um i, I I'm, I'm gonna bring the cam uh camera um and i have a backup camera my old camcorder i'll probably bring that um you can hear my nephew in the background um don't worry he's he's fine he just cranky his mom dropped him off <laughs> my brother's watching him uh his mom is off visiting my sister anyway uh I don't know if you can even hear that in the background. Anyway, uh, so I'm terrible with photos. Absolutely terrible. I am the worst person to ask take photos. <laughs> it, it's just not going to happen. I mean, I wanted to get so many photos of, of Remus uh, while he was still around, and I probably got about a dozen over the course of 10 months. That's I, I'm not a photo person. I have a very good memory, um, a very... Uh, I, I'm not. I would not say it's a photographic memory by any any means, but I, I memorize things, um, you know, that I see, and they're they're just like imprinted into my mind for a very long time. So it's like, I, I mean, I could describe, <laughs> you know, every almost everybody I've ever met. Um, it, but anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, but yeah, I, like I said, I'm gonna bring both cameras. Uh, I'll bring the laptop. Um, maybe I'll do some footage. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Um, I don't know what to expect. I've never been to a convention, so um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe, maybe uh, Tommy, who's going with me, maybe he'll be my cameraman. Um, right. So Jeff Perrin says, uh, "Yet to own a Beast Wars Metal Ravage because of the price." Uh, agreed. Yeah, that's why I don't. I've never had one. Um, I got the Tropodicus Agent Shadow Panther. Um, so which one did you get? Because there was two. Or four. <laughs> uh, so, so there's the uh, black repaint of the original Cheetor mold. There is a... The McDonald's... Free Happy Meal one was repurposed as Preparaticus Agent. Or Ravage. Because they didn't have Ravage's name for the toys at the time. Um, then there's the... There, well, okay, there's the Takara Black Cheetor, and then there was the Hasbro Black Cheetor, which was a Toys R Us exclusive. Um, and then there was the Walmart exclusive of um, Transmetal 2 Cheetor as um, Tropodicus Agents. So there was there was a few of them, plus then, of course, there was that one. And, and personally, though, the one I had um, when I, I was trying to get a Ravage... Uh, I, I had the Transmel 2 one. I loved that one. Um, but I also had the... Um, oh. Um, in Armada, there was a black and purple repaint of Transmetal Cheetor. So I was using that as my um, Ravage for a while. So <clears throat> so there, there's options there. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's see. Wow. Uh, Takara repaint. Regular Cheetor. Okay, yeah. Uh, wow, 88 repaints. Last I counted, around 50-ish. Yeah, there's a lot. Uh, I can I completed a full Minosaur and Superion, including Blackjack and Power Glide. Threw Alpha and Offroad on Prime. Maybe pick up Prowl and Jazz. It's going to happen at some point. Um, and give him some arms. Um, broke down and got Jetfire, Chroma, and Takar R RC. Uh, if I make make the TF Con, I'll bring her and let you check her out. Sweet. 
Uh, that'd be pretty cool. I, that's what I'm looking for. Is I'm hoping I get to meet a lot of people that I talk to all the time or talk through the camera all the time too. It's been a long day. <laughs> um, uh, I'd like to get. Let's see. I'd like to get defensor, but why? Uh, I'll just hold out. Hold out for Bruticus. Um, I, I've said this before. You know, a lot of people hate Defensor, um, but uh, I drop him. I actually really like him. I, I think he's a good figure. Um, I like him a lot better than Minasaur, that's for sure. And with the upgrade, the black hands and feet upgrade kit, it's great. Moving on, because we don't have that much time. Um, I'll get the main core onslaught slash hotspot, two repaints for the arms, the swindle rook to check out, and the new brawl, brawl mode. Um, if you like those, go back and buy Takara Defensor and get Groove as a new mold and leg. Um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing Hasbro's going to release Groove at some point. Uh, my that's my best guess because they did it with the other two so I'm, I'm guessing he's going to show up at some point um we're just going to have to wait for a while for it to happen um and that that's primary reason why i wanted to buy the hasbro one so that i have a full hasbro set so when if, if a hasbro group does come out i'm good to go i don't have to sit there but ah, i gotta go get it anyway um they can't um i feel like they ran out of ideas yes they did uh, they can't even make a combiner without rehashing G1 characters. Yep. Um, I was happy about the fans combiner until I saw those colors. I'll stop because I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to start ranting. Oh man, those colors are bad. That I don't. I don't get it. Uh, Alex Dalton says my dead end has terrible QC. So does mine. Uh, Joe Prime, damn! I hate all those retools. I'm just going to get the Bruticus line, God willing. Um, some of those molds are going to be so floppy. God. Um, Jeez. Um, you know, when they retool them enough, they're pretty cool. Um, like I said, uh, oh, well, you guys haven't seen my review for it yet. I've recorded it, but I just took a look at Um, Combined Wars Cyclonus, and he's pretty cool. I do like him. Um, I do like him a lot. Um, and because he's such a heavy retool, you barely notice that they're the same. But anyway, um, moving on. Seeing Funny John says Ravage could have been a repaint and head replacement of the R I D O Wolf Doofus, but they can't make the mold better. Um, eh, no. Uh, like I said, I think Trax mold would have been great. Um, uh, CM Funny Jizz, John says, yep, you suck. Uh, Maximals Forever also may ra Eraser and Tigertron slash Tigerhawk rest in peace. No, they won't. They didn't stand a chance against the Nemesis. It just, they just got disintegrated. It, it was awesome. <laughs> CM Funny John also says, wow, the repaints are sad, but if you are like me... It will be a fresh take since I rarely buy vehicle transformers. Tempted though. Tempted. Combiner Wars is not the line to start here. Just don't. Don't do it. Trans5 says, oh, and John, I wouldn't be surprised if they do a fire convoy R.A.D. Optimus Prime from the 2000 show with the hotspot onslaught mode. That I wouldn't be um, against that at all. Um, I wouldn't be against that. That's something different. Um, that one would make a little bit more sense to be in a Combiner Wars because he was a combiner. Um, so for me, that would be like that would be a lot more understandable than Optimus Prime as a combiner because he was never a combiner uh, in the show anyway. Uh, you might be in... I, I think he was for like a panel or something like that in the comic books, but I don't know. I don't read the comic books. Um... But anyway, um, seeing, seeing Funny John says, Ravage, uh, you damn whore, you screwed over the Maxwells, you son of an error, error, error. Well, 
he, his mission was to do that. He didn't screw him over. He was just doing his job. I don't come to you and yell at you when, you, when you're doing your job. Do I? I should. Uh, all right. Nick Sandwich Games says, Repoint, Repaint Wars is getting incredibly insane in my opinion. Out of every Combined Wars figure you listed, I am only getting Bruticus, Shockwave, Victorian, uh, Wheeljack, maybe Smokescreen, and Skylinks. Nothing else. Unless they do an actual Computron or somehow pull out another original Combiner. That, that'll be it for me. It was fun. I got some nice Combiners uh, that I didn't need to spend 500 on. Uh, yeah. Some of them are, like like I've, I've always said, uh, that Superion's a better option than DFC in my opinion. My opinion, not yours. My opinion. Some of you guys might agree with me. Some of you guys won't. Uh, and I'm very happy with them. I do like how you revisited this topic, though. Especially with the enormous amount of upcoming figures in this line. Oh, and they just announced Tarantulas, too. Um, out of the Rook Mold. Huck that. Oh, my God. Because we all remember Tarantulas being the tank of the Predacons, right? He was the tank. I would understand Scorponok. Not even really, but... And, and it doesn't make any sense because we just got a Tarantulas using the Rekgar mold. We just got one. Why are we getting another one? I mean, they're overdoing Beast Wars characters. I thought I'd never say that. I'm a huge Beast Wars fan and uh, I can't stand this crap. Um, okay. I now have Superior, Defen uh, Minosaur, Defensor, Devastator, and Optimus Maximus, which I... Which I like a lot, actually. I'm sorry. I don't. I can't. I can't like it. Mm -mm. Although I might, I'm tempted to make a, a full Prowl combiner. <laughs> uh, these colors uh, just work for me. But I do agree with your points. Hasbro is getting cheap with their creativity. I'm really hoping the Titan Wars will be different. It's now called Titan... Uh, the Titan's Return or something like that. Which it looks... I'm not going to say it is, but it looks promising. I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, oh, come on. What's going on here? Sorry. Lost my, lost my page here. <sighs> you know, I love YouTube. That's what I'm talking about. Of course I love YouTube. Um, but yeah, that the the Titan Wars uh, or Titan Returns does look pretty uh, look pretty uh, promising. There, um, I am thoroughly excited, um, but with a little you know, like uh, I don't want to get my hopes up as much as I did Combiner Wars because I, I was way into Combiner Wars. All right, David. Aguerrero, um, sorry if I butcher names. I'm terrible with names. Uh, damn, 88 repaints. Yep. <laughs> well, now it's 89. Uh, wow, that is nuts. Wow. That's just sad. I agree with the Beast Wars figures. Uh, just make new molds. Give us a new Cheetor and Dynamot. Give us a Ravage X9 figure. Please. Uh, rumor is, is that he was actually supposed to come out with the 10th anniversary of Beast Wars. Uh, but they couldn't find the mold. So instead, we got Transmutate, I think it was. Yeah. So, yay. <laughs> um, I have been waiting for that figure for years, and the price is just too scary. Yeah, way too scary. Um, I'm not spending $200 for a deluxe. Um, that's, just, that's just crazy. Um uh, every time I spend that kind of money on a figure like that, that that's, that, that's that old, it's always come broken. It, it never fails. It's always broken. and I, So I always feel like I'm just being had. Anyway, moving on. Um, as the BotCon figures, um, man, as for BotCon figures, man, they haven't made a set that was 
that was all awesome in years. Just overpriced repaints. Well, uh, well, they, they're always overpriced repaints. Um, but yeah, I, I remember the uh, Obsidian Striker. Those guys were good. But I agree. Nothing else in that box set was any was worthwhile. I would have preferred um, a whole new Beast Machines. Like, I would have preferred a Viacon set. You know, you get Tankor, Obsidian, Striker, uh, Jet Storm, and um, uh, Thrust. But don't use those damn movie molds. Those things suck. Oh my god, just let those things die. They Okay, movie molds are great for the movies. They are nowhere near good for representations of classics characters. It, it does not work that way. Anyway, uh, different rant altogether. <laughs> um, what's sad is uh, is that folks who already hate B stories will just have more fodder uh, to hate a great show that most of us assume is bad. Also, careful on Obama. Uh, Barry is watching, and he'll come and charge you a seven hundred dollar, seven hundred a month toy tax. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him. Uh, uh, Oku says, have it bought and have no plans to purchase a single book combined wars feed. Good job. Don't don't do it. If you if you don't have to, don't do it. Uh Mathesis Morcobus. I always have a hard time with your name. And you 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 pronounced it for me a few times. And the next guy is saying to you. Uh, he says, do a video, please. Um we'll see. Um and TFYU Smokey102 says uh, couldn't have said it better myself, man. This is similar to my comment on the last Ranch of the Week, uh, but mostly focused on, uh, on the fans. Uh, popular reviewers aren't saying this is ridiculous and aren't saying the toys are bad, and fans just keep buying them. Well, the reason for that is, is they get paid to say that. I don't care what they say. When they say they don't get paid to say that, they're getting paid to say that. Um, they have... They have sponsors. Some of them say, oh, well, we get discounts from stores. Well, okay, that's getting paid. If I got a 50% discount on a figure, yeah, I'm going to say, you know, I'd be tempted to say it's a good figure too. I won't do that, but that's why I don't get sponsorships. Um, you know, if they get even free shipping, that means they're still getting a, they're still getting paid for it. Maybe not as much as they'd like, but they're still getting paid for it. Um, I'm not pointing any fingers at any in particular but I think we all know who I'm talking about who sits there and says oh well you know what I want to go on vacation so why don't you go ahead and hit this link right here and you can you can pay me to go on vacation and go to these transformer conventions that you don't have enough money to go to so why don't you give me your money so I can go <laughs> different rants <laughs> um, but no, these guys get paid. Uh, they get the figures early, um, you know, most of the time for free. Um, and, you know, you know, some of them, some of them, I, I, I'm not, not bashing everybody because some of them, you know, they get their figures early and they, you know, assume that certain things are going to be fixed. Or maybe the company even tells them certain things are going to be fixed. I, I remember uh, Piog saying that, hey, this company told me that this was going to be fixed, and they didn't fix it. So, um, so I'm not bashing people like him. Um, but he, you know, they get their figures early, and they point out what's wrong with these figures. Um, I know, like Piog said in one of his videos, or maybe something he wrote one day, where he was saying. Um, when he was reviewing the early test shots of the MMC guys, it was not so much of a review for us as it was for the company so that they could see what he's pointing out. Like, Hey, this needs to be fixed. This needs to be fixed. And he, in his way, I guess, helped make those figures. So, you know, stuff like that's cool. You know, like, uh, or like Bobby Skullface, who recently he, I think he was the first one to actually get the, um, scrapper or scraper, uh, figure and in his was it the video yeah in the video he said uh, in the actual review he said that he refused them to have them give him this figure so that he can do an honest review but there are other people that get these figures for free um, they get their figures early just so that they can get these the, their view hits up and you know when you're that big every time you do a review you're getting paid so you don't you know, 
when Big Bad Toy Store or somebody like that, and I'm not bashing any comp toy stores, but if they say, hey, we need to sell this product, you, you do a good review on it, and then we sell the product, and then you get all your views, and you know we'll post online. But anyway, total different rant, but yeah, I, stuff like that pisses me off. Kind of lost my cool there for a minute. Uh, anyway, um, but yeah, there's a lot of people that don't do it, but there are there are some in particular um, that I, I cannot stand anymore. People that I used to think were great, and and one person in particular that was one of the influences on me to get started on mine. And now I cannot stand him. Um, God, I cannot stand him. Uh, but anyway, different, different thing. Um, uh, let's see. Anyways, I, I have already been uh, buying old molds I couldn't get before. Like you mentioned in the video, and so far I've been satisfied. Uh, I like my Reveal the Shield Jazz Generations Wheeljack. Oh, man, the Wheeljack's much better than piece of shit mold that they're going to put them in. And I'll continue to do that after the Bruticus wave. And after I see what's coming out for Titan Wars, um, so until the repaints stop, I'll just get molds I missed out of instead of buying these repaints. Anyways, good points, man. Um, okay, Knight Wing Wing Num 1. Uh, you hit on why I'm buying Masterpiece. Quality over quantity. Yes. Uh, the masterpiece is uh, made better, and yes, uh, there are repaints in in the line, but the repaints are ones that were done with the original line or special variations done at the time. Uh, not a Dotson car repaint like Ironhide. Exactly, you don't repaint iron, uh, you know, uh, Prowl into Ironhide. And if they did, they would get <laughs> there'd be an angry mob outside the car's factory the next day if they announced something like that. Uh, so yeah, no. Um, Let's see here. Uh, thanks for all the time in both reading this and doing your rants and review. Um, TFYU Smokey 102 says, uh, Also, the drag strip in Wave 4, I think he's talking about Mirage, uh, surprisingly have quality, quality control issues. Uh, I've bought a couple of them and returned them since they, their sliding legs were so loose. Uh, still haven't found a good version of one yet. There isn't one. Because it's Mirage painted out of a, a, a drag strip mold. There's not going to be a good one. I'm telling you. Um, uh, since since I gave up on finding a good one out there. Okay. Uh, Nightwing. Oh, he's, that's just a repost. Uh, the Darth Rants Zero R. Uh, I'm not buying any more Combined Wars stuff my, for myself. I still will buy some f some of them for my son who really wants certain characters. See, now that's a good place for him. Uh, Joseph Flanagan says, um, Why can't they give us the combiners that we all want? Uh, can you tell me how anyone at Hasbro could think that repaints and fake combiners are better than uh, finishing out all the real combiners team? That's why. They already have the mold, so they're, they're it, it's at the point where they're just making straight profit off of these things now. So there's there, there's no purpose to make a new mold because people are buying it, and part of that is because a lot of people are out there are saying these things are good. Um, I've actually seen people that praise Sunstreaker as being one of the best figures of the year, and it's like, why, why would you say that? It's not. I, mm -mm, mm. Uh, Victor Man point two oh nine. Um, these combined war series are just perfect. Uh, what are you talking about? They freshen up our beloved ca combined wars character with the magic of a repaint. It's just perfect. Perfect bullshit. Okay, thank God. He <laughs> had me worried there for a minute. <laughs> I, mean, I thought for sure it was like. Am I going to have to put this guy at his place here? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, what a waste of money. A change of color and a head. Slap on, on another name. Boo. New toy. Laugh my ass off. It took a three month break uh, from these just to come back to see that the Hasbro is still stuck, uh, at, stuck at repainting and changing heads. 
These Combiner Wars waves should be renamed Repainter Wars. Uh, yeah. They, they just need to go away is what they need to do. Um, the Titan... The Titan one... Um, God, I just said it earlier. Titan... Or Return of the Titans or Titans Return or whatever it is. Um, that one has promise. Um, I am scared because, you know, we are getting a whole bunch of new good-looking figures. And, and the first thing I think of when I see all these figures that are coming out is... Okay, well, who's this going to be? 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 Uh, you know, when they announced Titan Wars, um, myself included, I think we all thought that it was going to be um, Titan-class figures. Um, I think we'll probably get um, Fortress Maximus. Uh, it'll be a heavy retool of uh, Metroplex. And that might be all we're going to get, Titan Glass. Um, yeah, that's my that's my guess. Is that's all we're going to get. Uh, we got a, a Leader Class Blaster. Uh, which, honestly, I'm actually really excited for. Um, because I don't have an MP Blaster. And I really don't want to buy a KFC. Uh, so he looks like he'll be probably about MP scale. So I'll just pick him up. And he'll be my stand-in until an official one. Or a company that actually makes good figures um can actually uh you know replace it yeah kfc you're not that company uh x transbots you're not that company i'm through buying that crap I'll, I'll do the giveaways for that crap still um so if anybody wants to do a giveaway on like um you know x transbot galvatron or something like that we can do it but that figure's gonna come damaged whoever wins i'm sorry it's, it's just gonna come damaged um, and, but yeah, the Galvatron, uh, we got Voyager Galvatron, which, you know, that's, that's where I wish the Megatron would have been is Voyager. So now it doesn't make any sense to me to have a leader class Megatron, then a Voyager Galvatron. Uh, you should have done leader get Megatron, leader Galvatron, but you know, whatever. Uh, there's a Sentinel Prime that's clearly going to be repainted. Uh, into Astrotrain, which is cool. Um, nice big Astrotrain for us. So, yeah, I was like, mm, maybe I'll pick up that Toy World one with the, the G1 paint job. But then I decided, you know what? No, I'm just going to wait for the Voyager. Uh, my, my Chug collection is, from now on, going to be mostly just, you know, maybe some upgrade kits. But I'm not buying any more third-party figures for my Chug collection. Except for the Conehead Seekers. I'll, I'll, I'll pick those up from high gear. And that's it. Um, and, and then the MP, that's the one I'm going to put the main money into. Uh, but the Chug line, that's just that's just mostly reviewer um, fodder. Uh, you know, uh, just stuff to review while I'm waiting for good figures to come out. Stuff like that. Um, and fun toys. But, um, yeah. Oh, and uh, that sound, or that uh, blaster... Five bucks says that it's going to be a um, sound wave by the end of the next year. That, that's just how they're going to work it. Because that's what they do. Um, that's how they do. Uh, but anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Uh, we've got more reviews coming up in the next few days. And then off to DFCon. 